my birthday. I asked you on Facebook to send me your best chocolate cake recipe and I was so happy to receive so many responses from you all. So thank you so much to everyone who sent me a chocolate recipe. I was so happy reading them. So it was a yummy reading. And fortunately, I can only make one because otherwise I'll eat them all and then I would not fit in the camera. So today we're going to make the chocolate recipe set by Samson Bujmiras. So thank you Samson, thank you for sending me this yummy recipe. It's actually from a blog called kitchenrunway.com. It looks really simple to make and really yummy. So I'm very excited to make it with all of you. Let's start. First, we're going to mix the dry ingredients as we usually do in baking. Here I have the flour, so I'm going to sift it. Add the sugar, the baking soda, not baking powder, it's baking soda, it makes a difference, and a pinch of salt. And using a whisk, just make sure they're well integrated. In a saucepan on medium heat, melt the butter. Once the butter has melted, add the cocoa powder. Add boiling water. Mix well and we're going to boil this mixture for 30 seconds. And that's it. Now add this yummy chocolate mixture to the flour mixture. And mix well using your whisk. In a small bowl, mix the egg with the vanilla extract and the buttermilk. Yum! And then just give it a stir. Now add the buttermilk mixture to our chocolate mixture and we're going to mix it well. Now we pour the batter in our pan, prepare a pan with uh, parchment paper, you butter it first, put the parchment paper, then you put butter on top, and that's it, you scoop it in. You can lick the spoon, mm. it's my birthday after all, yummy. And that's it, it's ready. All we have to do is put it in the oven. Uh, you preheat your oven to 350 Fahrenheit degrees, which is around 180 Celsius degrees. While the cake is in the oven, we're going to make the icing. So first, melt the butter in a saucepan on medium-low heat. Once the butter has melted, add the cocoa powder and mix. Turn off the heat, so I'm turning off the heat on here. And then I'm going to add the milk and the powdered sugar. So mix well until it becomes really smooth. Once smooth, add the chopped walnuts. The recipe calls for um, pecans, but I prefer walnuts, but you can use pecans or any other nuts of your choice. It's good, it'll give it a little crunch. Our cake is ready. I baked it for around 23 minutes. It depends on your oven. But basically, when you touch it uh, on top gently, it feels firm. Um, I left here the center a little bit and cooked. This way we get this gooey center um, that's like chocolatey. So the, the trick here is do not overcook this cake. Otherwise, you will lose the goo gooiness of the chocolate inside. That's it. I'm going to flip it here and remove my paper. Yay, look how soft and moist it is. I mean, seriously, it's so soft. I messed it up a little bit here by taking the paper, but don't worry about it because we're going to cover it with our icing. So just pour the icing on top and let it go all over the cake. Yummy. And it's ready. I removed uh, the extra icing and cleaned a little bit uh, the plate. I should have used a bigger plate, but hey, who cares? Um, I'm going to cut it and serve it in uh, small portions. And that's it. So I am going to leave it here for around like maybe 20 minutes to just like cool down and soak all the gooey icing. And then I'm going to taste it. And now my favorite part, I'm going to taste the cake. So you want to serve it warm. Look at this 
super soft cake with the gooey icing and the walnut. Look at this beauty. So I'm taking the first bite here. Check this out. It's super gooey. Exactly like I like it. Mmm. It just melts in your mouth. You don't even need to chew it. Yummy, let me take another bite. Wow, check this out. I love the walnuts. It's very chocolatey, although we haven't used uh, chocolate. And the reason I picked this, because I often use dark chocolate and many people say, hey, can I use cocoa powder instead of chocolate? Well, this time you can make this whole chocolate cake without chocolate, just cocoa powder. Yummy, check this out. Mmm. 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 It's super, super, super moist. Mm. Wow, but it's rich, so in moderation. And I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you, Samson, again for sending me this recipe, and see you next time. Bon appetit!